Hey everybody, I am back today with my favorite planner supplies for July. So if you've watched some of my other videos, you've noticed that I'm trying to downsize and kind of um, go through my things and use things up. So you're probably wondering like, why do I keep buying stuff? And I wanted to preface this just by saying, I'm trying to be very thoughtful and methodical in the purchases that I make. But there are still a few things that are, have been on my wish list, and I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and say that this month has been a unicorn month for me, meaning there have been a lot of things that I was able to get that have been on my list for a very long time, probably months and some of them even years. So let me get started with going through them, and I will also share with you how I plan on using those, because I like to, I like when people talk about how they're gonna use them and not just they're trying to, you know, get a stash and a hoard of supplies. So this very first thing I have mentioned before in my planning videos, these are the reinforcement trendy page dots that I buy. And these are by Annie's paperboutique.com. And these are some of my favorites of all time. I try and go on her website about every four to six months because she comes out with new ones. And this time she had some really cool ones that are seasonal. So these are some Halloween ones, Valentine's. These are the St. Patrick's ones. I don't know if you can see this, but they're little jack-o'-lanterns. And then these are skulls also for Halloween. And then she calls this one Cherry Cordial. And I think this one is Dreamsicle. And then this one is just really cute rainbow flags. So I was able to get some of those. These are basically some of my favorites because of this right here. She gives you the reinforcement holes and you can use this on your ring bound planner. I use this, I've had an Erin Condren, I've had a ring bound with my Franklin Covey and now I'm in a ringless and every single one I have used these to circle the dates on my monthly and that's just a visual thing for me to just kind of keep track of my date. I also use, and this is the reason I really love these, not only because of the adorable colors, but she gives you the actual circle. So I use the circle for like um, lists. I also use it to like maybe highlight something. I've started using it for my calendar for um, my, this YouTube, and I just use it to mark when I post and film things. And then I also use this to mark off my goals. So I just really love, love this product. I love when people think. And when I look at regular reinforcement holes now, I can hardly even use them because I'm like, why didn't you give me the hole like Annie's does? It just drives me nuts. So I love, love, love these products that she makes. Then I also got some sticky notes. And these, of course, these first two are by Little B. I love this one. This one looks like a composition notebook. And as you know, I just love anything to do with school. And this is my all time favorite, which is this apple. This is a perfect size. As you know, my favorite size is like about a two by two, which is not too big and not too small. So I love this one. And then these yoga ones, I want and need to do yoga in my life for a lot of reasons, which I will not get into at this time, but I thought this would be really good to write down websites and some actual sequences or flows or different positions that I want to try. Anyway, I really like these. And then I also got these particular ones from Mochi Things. These have 50 sheets in them. And I completely love these because this is a monthly calendar. I think this size is about four by four. So it's a little bit bigger than your normal sticky note. And normally I don't like these bigger ones, but I love this monthly one. I can think of so many things to use for this, whether it be like your once a month cooking or your menu planning, if you wanna plan out your workouts, if you wanna track weight loss, you know, health issues, if you have like a, you're something that you're working for, like a 90 day goal, you can use several of these. I, this, I just think there's so many uses for this one. And I really love this. I've tried some mochi things sticky notes before and I know that they're good. So another really one that I, fun one that I'm excited about. Then I bought four different stickers. These are another one of my unicorns. I have mentioned in my essential planner favorites that my favorite calendar stickers. 
These are my favorite girly stickers. These have everything from yoga, shopping, hair, um, of course, date night, some exercising, spa, things like masks and massage, bubble baths, nails, I mean, everything. It even has a, you know, it even has little scales on it. So these are by Mindwave Seals, and they are becoming a little bit harder to find. So every time I find one of these, I stock up, and I was able to obviously buy one for this month. So I really love these. Then my next one, as you can see, no, I'm not really into Japanese dolls, but as I have mentioned before, I'm doing The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. And if you have seen her, she is just the cutest, most adorable, sweetest Japanese woman you have ever met. So when I am going to be working on that for my house, I want to mark it with these adorable dots and these or stickers, and they remind me of Marie Kondo. She's just so sweet and encouraging. I just love her so much. These next ones are also something I've been looking for for a very long time. I've probably known about these Sticko Love Jars since January. They've been on my list. And I have searched every Target and Walmart and every online store and never been able to find these. I was finally able to find them on an Etsy shop and she had a two pack. So I was super excited about that. Now these, nor these stickers, I normally like smaller stickers in my planner, but as you can see, these are quite a bit larger. They're probably two inches is the, is the tallest one. And I do a lot of canning of my food. And if you can your food like I do, you know that it's a process. It's kind of like bulk cooking, once a month type cooking, where it just, it takes a while because you're mass producing. So these would actually be okay in my planner because it's gonna take me all afternoon to do some canning. So really, really love these. Jars are a huge part of my life and I just love them. And then these are by the Let's see, it's the new planner that just came out, which is Webster's Pages. And it's the D These Are the Days line by Megan Hopner. And I was only able to find one of these. I really like these. These have, the top one are emoticons, and then the bottom one ones are just a bunch of mini calendar stickers. These, this size in particular is great for your monthly because you don't have a ton of space, but sometimes like I just had a day where I had to write five or six things down and you had, you just have to have a really small writing and really small stickers. So these are perfect for that. If I am able to find more of these, I want to get a couple more. I, on Webster's pages, they're sold out. Other places that I've looked are also out of stock. So obviously they're a hot commodity right now, but they're very cute and I like them and I will keep looking for more. This is a folder for my traveler's notebook by Annika Hamby. I have heard about her for quite a while. And to frankly, I, I'm a very independent girl. I like to make my own things. I like to figure it out. It just makes me feel kind of good to just be, you know, do my own thing. However, when I looked on her site, the reason I ended up with one of her folders was because of this paper right here. Pineapples are trendy. They're popular. And for, as you can see by my name, I have loved pineapples for decades. It's always been the little icon that I've used. So I am thrilled that this has become very popular. So I bought this paper or this folder because of the paper. And then also on the inside, she, it's turquoise stripes. So this is just me completely, pineapples and turquoise stripes. And then she included some cute little purple foil stickers. So very, very good quality. I like this a lot. I have since found this paper on Webster's pages, but I am still thrilled that I bought this from Annika. She does a great job. And then this I've done a video on, um, but it's the Daiso receipt holders with index tabs. I ended up making my sticker books for my traveler's notebook out of these. These I have been looking for again for probably, I'm gonna say a year and a half. I originally saw this, the smaller one, in a planner video. I'm going to say it was just in her Filofax, and she just had it, one of them stuck in her Filofax, in her pocket. 
And I have just been in love with these because they have a flap on the top so nothing falls out on the top. And then it's got five tabs on the side. And each one has a different color, which I love, the rainbow tabs like that. And you can label them for whatever. So it's been on my the back of my mind. It's been on my radar. I, have what, I don't live anywhere near a Daiso. So that's one of the big problems. I couldn't find them anywhere. I finally found a seller on eBay this month. And I messaged her because she was out of stock with them. But she was able to find some and I was able to get some. So I, another unicorn that I've been looking for forever that I was able to get. So super excited about that one. Here is another one. It's the semicolon page flags. Now here's my sordid history with semicolon. I, again, have known about these for several years and have wanted them desperately. Again, like the Daiso, I don't live anywhere near a container store. I have traveled throughout the last couple years and every single city I go to, I travel even more to go hit up their container store. And I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the container store in a different town, in a different city, and they are out of stock of these flags. So it's been very frustrating for me. I finally just gave in and bought some on Amazon. They're double the price, but I figured since the closest container store is three hours away from me, it's, it was still cost effective to pay double the price than to travel for three hours just to get these. My husband this month was also able to travel and I specifically asked him to do me a huge favor and go to the container store to please find, if, find out if they have more of these. He was able to get two more of these for me. So yes, I have three books of this. That's how much I love these. Now some girls want jewelry or furniture or shoes or purses. Nope, not me. I want page flags. I am so thrilled about these. I'm, I'm the happiest girl in the world. Then my next one is some Oli clips. Now if you've seen my other videos, you know that I already have some Oli clips. So I don't need Oli clips technically. I have a five pack of the smalls and I have a three pack of the large. So I normally just use a large and a small on my in my planner and then probably one other random one. So I technically only need three at a time. However, I've had my Oli clips now for a, over a year, maybe even close to two years. And I'm just getting really, really tired of the colors. I still love them, they work fine. But Daniel from California, who runs the Oli Clip, Daniel, <laughs> like we're best friends on a first name basis here. Daniel was came out with some new ones, and I really love these. I didn't have a purple and a blue, so that's why I got this one. I'm not a fluorescent yellow person at all, so I will be getting rid of that one. Then they have these pearlescent metallic ones, which kind of have a really nice sheen to them. This is like a really light green, a pink, and a white. And then this pack I bought, I'm not really a shiny, glittery, sparkly girl, but I really loved the platinum on this one. So that's why I bought these packs. I probably will end up just keeping about two thirds of these and, get, and getting rid of the rest because I don't want to keep stuff that I don't love. But again, love the Oli Clips. I am waiting for Daniel, my, my BFF Daniel, to come out with some large clips that I really love because right now I... I really like the three pack I have, but I haven't seen any ones that I'm just totally in love with. So that's the only other plans I have for Oli Clips is just another pack of larges. Then let's talk about washi tape because I love me some washi tape. Now these, I'm gonna go through one at a time. This one, as you can see, is with some woodland animals, squirrels, foxes, and hedgehogs. And no, I'm not in love with cute little woodland animals. These are relating are going to relate to some productivity things that I'm going to be starting in my planner. So each one of them has a meaning and I will get into that later. But that's the reason I bought this is to start mar marking some the productivity things that I'm going to start doing. Then this next one is called vegetables and vines. And this one I love. As you know, I'm a gardener and I completely fell in love with this one because look how many vegetables. I don't even know if, there we go in the frame. I, 
There's so many vegetables on here and some that I have never even seen before on washi like eggplant and artichokes and all the different kinds of squashes and corn. So this is perfect for my garden. I'm in peak season right now, which means I'm harvesting a whole bunch and I'm getting ready to plant my fall garden. So this is gonna be perfect for that. And then the next one, I'm sure like many of you, I have seen the adorable movie Inside Out, even though I do not have any small children. Loved the movie, it was phenomenal, but that is not why I bought this washi. I bought this washi because this shows the five different emotions and I wanna start tracking emotions in my planner. So this is super cute and functional, which is my two favorite things that I love about planning supplies. It needs to be cute and functional. Here is another pineapple. This one I particularly love because it actually looks like a pineapple. There's some out there that you're like, there's no red pineapple. So this is my favorite one because it's the yellow pineapple with the green stems and it's just super cute. And I will be using that for marking personal things because that, like I said, is my little moniker that an icon that I've used forever. These next two relate to food. This one is, as you can see, ice cream cones. And I've been wanting to start making my own sorbets and ice creams. And this one in particular I love because it probably has about 15 different colors and flavors on here that I have never seen before. And so this is gonna be perfect. And it also has a, you probably can't see it, but it's a green one. And my favorite ice cream is mint chip. So I've never seen that before. I really am excited about this. And I am ready to start making some really super duper healthy ice creams and treats. And then this other one is sadly, I've had to be gluten free for many years now. I've tried every line and product on the market, it seems like, and they're all disgusting. And I finally have just realized I've got to start just making everything by myself. So this is relating to breads. It's got pretzels and muffins and things like that on there. So that, again, is going to be adding time to my day, but I've got to start doing it. And this is a good way to mark it in my planner to make me feel a little bit better about the situation. And then this one I wanted to bring up, I didn't actually buy this one, but I'm including this in my favorites because a lot of times you'll have orders and they'll include a little freebie. And I'm not trying to be ungrateful, but sometimes you think, okay, that was very nice, but I will never use that. This I got as a freebie this month, and this is my favorite freebie I've ever received. This is an Alice in Wonderland washi. And I, I actually don't like Alice in Wonderland. I don't like the book or the movie, but I love the washi because it has a queen and houses and trees on it that I will definitely use. So cute freebie. I really like that one and I appreciate that. Then if you've seen my multicolor pen video, you, I did mention that I was almost done. I just needed to buy one more uni style fit pen, which I did. So I, this is the metallic silver. And then I got the 0.28 refills, which is my favorite. I really prefer the microfine tip pen. So this completes my collection. I'm really excited about this and I can put that in my pen case. And then I wanted to end with the last thing is, this is a palette knife. Now this idea, I am shamelessly stealing from Cindy Guntart from Llama's Love Lettering. She, as soon as she introduced this, I completely fell in love with it. And what she uses this for is this surface right here to cut washi. And I, like I've said, I love washi. I've had it for a very long time now. And I've tried every trick under the book on how to properly cut the washi. Scissors, I've used the little razor blade, and I, I can't tell you how many times, as careful as I am, I still cut my pages with the razor blade, so that is not working for me. The credit card trick, same thing, it works for me, but I'm constantly losing my card somewhere within you know all my supplies, so that's not really working for me either. This is perfect. So I'm able to just put this in my pen jar, it sticks up, it's easily accessible, and this just cuts it. It's really, I, want, I don't wanna say sharp, but it's sharp enough, it's not gonna cut you, but it's sharp enough to cut the washi with a really fine edge. It's really slick, I love it. Anyway, those are my July planner essential favorites. Let me know if you 
have some of your own. I would love to hear what you like. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.